also we need to keep in mind too that the Canaanites were not the sorts of people you'd want for your next door neighbors. They engaged in incest, in bestiality, in infant sacrifice, in ritual prostitution, acts that would be considered criminal in any civilized society. So it wasn't as though they were just eating non-kosher foods and the Israelites weren't, or that they had tattoos and the Israelites didn't. It was something much more substantive and significant. Uh, this was in no way ethnic cleansing because it's a, what is really the matter is the moral and spiritual condition of these peoples that had gone to such a great depth that when the time was right, after about 500 years, only then could the Israelites go in and engage in this driving out. Uh, so that is basically what we have going on here, that it is not a, an ethnic thing, but rather a moral matter. Uh, but also that when it comes to the taking of, of life, that this is something that a good and wise God is commanding here. So rather than seeing this as a matter of, oh, a good and wise God would never command sort of a thing, maybe we need to flip it around and say, well, given the gravity of these, uh, the, the grotesque nature of these acts and so forth, maybe we need to say, if there is an all wise and good God commanding these things, then he would have a morally justified reason for doing this sort of a thing. 